All right, y'all, I want to talk about the woke mob for a second. Now, keep in mind that these are the same people that have canceled cartoons, books, and syrup, okay, for having supposedly racist qualities. So, I was listening to Charlie Kirk's podcast yesterday, and he is brilliant. If anybody wants to keep up with what's going on, you need to go subscribe to Charlie Kirk's podcast. Listen to him on your way to work, waiting on the kids to get out of school, get out of practice, whatever. Listen to him, because the way his mind works is brilliant. But um, anyway, he was talking about Columbia University and how they are now diversifying their college graduation ceremonies. They're dividing them up between race, income, and sexual preferences. So yeah, this is the leftist college segregation that they want to push on your children. Okay, they want to separate them up. This is, this is actually what they're doing. I said they want to s separate them. They are in their graduation ceremonies. They have a, have a black-only graduation ceremony. No other ethnicity allowed. White people, no, you shunned. You can't come in this graduation ceremony. And they did that with every single race. Then they go on to make an LGBTQ ceremony just for people that are gay. Then they go on to just further it even more by making an income, different income bracket ceremonies. So if you have low income, you go into the low income ceremony. I mean, where's cancel culture in all this? I'm trying to figure out where that is because that is racist. You know, Martin Luther King, every single black civil rights activist in history was against segregation. And they are pushing segregation down the throats of our children, uh, down the throats of our societies, down the throats of our culture. And it is sick. It is sick. No one. So, so we're over here saying segregation is bad. Okay, and we're the racist ones. Meanwhile, you got actual racist over trying to segregate the country when it is nothing more than the Democrats trying to do the 1960s all over again. They're trying to do a complete remix of it. You've got corporations that are telling their employees, making them go through mandatory training, telling them to be less white. You know, bow down, say sorry for your white privilege, acknowledge your white privilege, be less of who you are. I don't have white privilege. I don't have generational wealth. I've got generational work ethic. I've got generational heart. You know, my granddaddy was the epitome of a Southern hardworking farmer. My daddy was third generation farmer. So they farmed their entire lives. My granddaddy, his daddy before him, that's what they did. But my granddaddy was the hardest working man I have ever known in my life. And his best friend throughout his whole life was a black man. His name was George. They went fishing together. They did everything together. You know, this is back in the 60s, pre-60s, you know, when everything was bad. Um, and that was his best friend. My grandma could absolutely lay it down in the kitchen. So she cooked home cooked meals and just, you know, anybody could come in and eat anytime they wanted to. George would come in and eat with them all the time. But the Democrats want to paint the Republican party as the party of racist, of Nazis. And that's simply not true. The Republicans have always remained the party that is anti-slavery. You know, and you've got uh, people talking about now reparations for black people. Okay. Every single race has been enslaved. Every single race. And it is terrible. It is an awful thing in history, but it is history. It's in the past. But there actually is slavery happening right now that nobody wants to talk about. And that's human, sex, human trafficking and child sex trafficking. And it is terrible. And guess what? That is, human trafficking don't discriminate against your skin color. It's white, black, brown. It don't matter. These people are enslaved right now, and we're over here fighting each other because you chose to fall into the left's narrative. You chose to feed into it and push their propaganda, push their lie, further their lie. Let me put it to you like this. You call people racist that say, I don't care about your skin color. We need to unify. I don't want segregation. I don't, I don't think that we should be segregated. I'm against segregation. Absolutely. We shouldn't be divided based on our skin color. At all. God loves us all. I don't care. We all bleed red. It don't matter. But you call people that say those things racist. You, you target them. You censor them off Facebook. You censor them off social media completely. It's, it's disgusting. It's disgusting. And people fall into that trap. I don't understand it. I will always be anti-segregation. I will always be pro-life, pro-gun, pro-God. And you can't change my mind. You can't censor that out of me. You can't cancel that out of me.